music uh, has a um, has a way of carrying these divine vibrations on it. But music has to be divine also. The music which is uh, erotic or something very bass or very uh, related to something uh, very ugly doesn't work out. But if it is a proper music of a proper type, then it communicates. But that discretion only comes after realization. That, uh, you know, now Indian classical music, I don't know how many of you have listened to it, but it's a very, very deep music, very deep. I mean, nobody can sing like that, nobody can play like that, this much I know, whatever may be the quality of people in the West in that. It's a very difficult thing and it's played uh, spontaneously. And uh, it's a very difficult thing even to understand and to appreciate. But when these people got realization, now they la enjoy it so much, just automatically, they enjoy it. So, you see, the, what you enjoy there is the vibrations. You feel the cool vibrations and you start enjoying it. You see, the other day I was in uh, Cincinnati and three, four children came very sweetly standing before me, about 10, 11 years of age. They said, Mother, thank you very much, we enjoyed your lecture very much. I said, really, what did I say? That we don't know, but we enjoyed. And they were sitting very quietly throughout, all the children, would not move out, would not run about, anything. I was so surprised, but we enjoyed, that's the point. <laughs> because these vibrations, you know, uh, these cool vibrations, they soothe you down. Children enjoy. You need not understand it, but it suits you. Because this music, the good music, I should say the music which is uh, congenial, carries the waves of vibration.